Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, and I am in the elevator uh, going downstairs to take a break and uh, kind of talk about a few subjects I wanted to talk about today. So I'm at the first floor, so give me a moment to catch up. I decided to come outside and record, but it's like way too cold. It's like, <laughs> I know it's warm for other people, but it's like the 40s right now. And uh, whenever it gets this cold, my shoulder decides to complain. So I'm headed back inside. I just walked through here, so it's nice and warm. I'm gonna go into the cafeteria and then we'll have a conversation there. Something I wanted to talk about with uh, the ruckus and projects and my arm being broken and it being the winter, uh, I've noticed that a lot of people, whenever it turns winter up north, they uh, put their ruckuses aside and uh, do a bunch of projects. Like I'm sure whenever they go into the winter and come out the other side, their ruckus is completely different. Um, so I think what I'm doing is kind of similar since I can't really ride it right now. Um, so what I want to complain about or what I want to uh, push everyone away from the pitfalls of modding is uh, over committing to projects. Uh, if you probably see my live videos, I got a fatty and a stretch uh, missing a couple of pieces, but uh, pieces that are available that I could buy. Uh, like I need the Mojo shock mount and the... Uh, the cables, the extended cables, but I completely forgot that I needed to get a fatty um, exhaust kit. So, you know, roll those together and I'm looking at like somewhere around $400 worth of stuff that I didn't really imagine I needed. Uh, at the same time, I also bought a disc and lowdown kit. So I got the discs, I got the shocks, but I didn't get the, the new tire because I thought I could use the stock front tire, and that's not true. Sorry, the head cook just walked by. <laughs> anyway, so you can't use the stock front tire. And, you know, I don't know why I didn't think about it, but you can't mount the disc to the stock front tire. Now they make a kit where you can mount the stock front tire with a uh, disc brake on it and then hook it up. But is that what I wanna do? Or do I wanna get a whole new hub and front tire that matches the rear tire? I don't know. But I got some good advice from Smallboard Two Wheels and I also got some advice from Texas Get, AKA Buzzy. You know, get everything I need together, take my time. There's no real hurry for me to get it together um, immediately. Although I do want to be able to ride it somewhere around January uh, to start coming to work with it again as soon as my arm is healed enough. But there is a pitfall uh, that I haven't experienced because I always tackled everything 
one project at a time. Like, I wanted to take the plastics off, that was a project I did. I wanted to take the uh, rear tail bracket off, that's what I did. You know, one at a time I wanted to do little things and I did them. But now I overcommitted and now I have a lot of money that needs to be spent uh, to, to take care of that. So that does kind of suck. So uh, hopefully I'll have that ready and I'll do that in a three part series. I also want to get a rear frame and paint it uh, and then match it with the, uh, the, front, uh, the front battery box and paint that also. But I'm not 100% sure that I want to do that. I might just want to take a rear frame and clean up all the brackets and then paint it and possibly make it so that I can uh, do some wire tucking through there. But anyways, that's in, that, that's, that's about it for that particular part. Another thing that I ran into recently is the, uh, uh, the meat and mobs that I always go to for Northwest Houston Mini Motors, which I have a lot of good friends in there and I enjoy riding with them. Uh, but the problem is that I am not riding with them. I can't ride with them. Uh, so I go hang out with them and then uh, something like this happens. And uh, that was a meet and mob that I was at, but I didn't get to ride away with them. And here's a little bit of a cut scene, but how depressing I sound whenever uh, it was time to go ahead and go and everyone drove away. All right, that's it. So got to hang out for a little bit. It's good to see some of the old friends. Again, I'm kind of a little bit depressed because I don't get to ride with them, but eh, you know, all in due time, right? All in due time. So yeah, you know, I need to stay involved with my my crew, my my squad, and uh, you know, stay with them and hang out with them. Uh, there'll always be more. You know, someone gave me some good advice saying there'll always be more uh, rides later on. There'll always be more meets, at meet and mobs and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't want the group to die or you know turn into to turn into like uh, the ruckus groups over in Houston they used to meet all the time and now no one meets ever uh, which I plan to change so you know I'm gonna try to do more meet and mob stuff but don't be surprised if I sound sad in them uh, I was wondering maybe I could get a ride with somebody but right now the way it works I can't even hold on to anyone with this gimpy arm right now but anyways that's that uh, lastly uh, to occupy my time since uh, I don't have money to finish those multiple projects right now and to do other things like writing and stuff like that I have been working heavily on marketing merchandise I'm pretty sure everyone's pretty annoyed by now about my stickers and my key tags uh, I'm trying to make a new key tag for the ruckus which I think would be popular it seems like anything they make ruckus videos or stickers people go crazy over but yeah, um, I'll leave a link down below for the Etsy store. Uh, I want to make a challenge to anybody who has an idea of a ruckus sticker that they want to make. Uh, throw the idea my way. We'll both uh, work on designing and figuring out what we want it to look like. And in the end, uh, I'll pay you for your idea, give you a little bit of money, or I'll make you a ton of that sticker that you want, and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but yeah. So that's how I've been kind of occupying some of my time. Uh, I can't sit around and do nothing, and I can't make live videos all day long, every single day. There's only so much to talk about, but I am going to make more lives in the garage. So be prepared to uh, have conversation whenever you want. I, I am going to do phone interviews with people. So I will randomly find someone and call them on the cell phone to ask them, uh, specific questions about their bikes, why they ride, when did they start riding, and all sorts of good stuff. But anyways, uh, my stepdaughter comes back into town today, 
and we will start getting ready for Thanksgiving. There will be a special Thanksgiving episode. Uh, I did, oh, also, I did make the key tags cheaper and the stickers cheaper, so do check out the Etsy store if you really want to buy one of those. Anyways, thanks for listening to my babbling. It has been an interesting week being super cold. Uh, lots of things going on at the house. The holidays are rolling over, we're trying to figure out where we're supposed to go and who we're supposed to go with without making anybody angry. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment if you have anything down below about a sticker that you want me to make. If you have any ideas of anything that I could do to keep my mind occupied and but keep myself focused on moving the channel forward. Oh, and if you're interested in putting a YouTube sticker on the back of your car, also let me know. Uh, it'll say small engine velocity with sevproductions.com with a YouTube symbol on top. I will mail that out to you totally free. I just need you to make sure to put that on the back of your car and do a little bit of advertising for me, 100% free. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see everybody in the next video.